Guys, this is a group of disorders, frontotemporal dementia, that happen when nerve cells in the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain are lost. Now, just so you know, the frontal part of the brain is here. The temporal part is kind of in this area, in this area. Frontotemporal dementia can really affect a number of aspects of our sort of person, our behavior, our personality, our language, even movement. These dementias, these frontotemporal dementias, um, are actually among the most common dementias to affect young people. So oftentimes we see people ages 40 to 65 with frontotemporal dementias. Um, and there's multiple different types, right? Subtypes of this. Some of these subtypes affect, um, say, behavior more. Some of these subtypes affect speech more. Some um, movement is affected more. But the symptoms are something you really should know about. Um, these are maybe not the typical dementia symptoms you may think about. These may be changes in your behavior or personality. A person may have a loss of empathy or like problems with interpersonal skills. Um, they may not express judgment as well, or they might have a loss of inhibition, be inhibited. They also might have a lack of interest, just no longer be interested in things, which can actually be mistaken for depression. Um, there are other symptoms as well. Sometimes there's compulsive behaviors. Uh, sometimes there's smacking lips or clapping or things that people do all the time. And there even may be other changes. Um, decline in, in personal hygiene or changes in eating habits as well. You see what I mean when I say, like when we think about dementia, often we think about memory, but this is a, a type of dementia where memory, yes, can be involved, but it's not necessarily the forefront symptoms. Now, as I mentioned, there are other different types of frontotemporal dementia. Uh, another type affects speech and language. This is important because uh, some of these speech and language problems that someone might have is uh, they might have increased difficulty using and understanding written and spoken language. So like they might have uh, trouble finding the right word to use in speech or even in naming objects. Uh, again, the naming things is a big thing, possibly replacing a specific word with a more general word saying, um, can I have it? Instead of saying, can I have the pen? Um, no longer knowing what certain words mean, having hesitant speech, things like that. There's also types that involve more motor-related symptoms, things like people may have tremor or rigidity, even muscle spasms. Um, they might have problems with coordination or might have falls, muscle weakness. So you see the symptoms really can range. They really can be on a spectrum. The thing about frontotemporal dementia is that there's not a cure, but there are medications and treatments that may help symptoms, which is very important. Um, as you can see, there's a lot more to say about this type of dementia. Um, it's just one of many dementias, but again, it tends to affect younger people. And the symptoms may be different than what we typically think about when we think about dementia. Um, what's suffice it to say is this is a very important condition that really can affect people's lives, not only the patient, but the family as well. And a team of people are likely going to be needed to assist, whether it's physical therapy, speech therapy, uh, neurologists, primary care doctors, etc. What's always important, as I always say, is if you have any concerns about yourself or a loved one, um, whether you think you know what's going on or not, make sure you're seeking out medical care. And for any of those suffering with frontotemporal dementia, it can be tough, just as all dementias hang in there. Uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Write in the comments. Uh, please share this video with anyone you think it might be helpful uh, for. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please uh, like and follow my page if you haven't. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Oh, check out my website, drjencoddle.com. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen, guys. I'll see you soon.